Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Wow, yeah, very slow day today and uh, I already suggested in the previous video Bitcoin might have already uh, might have already started its holiday weekend and therefore there's just not much going on at the moment. Um, market is still consolidating here at a pretty high level. Yeah, in, in something that we could call maybe a rectangle pattern. So still, you know, Bitcoin is still likely moving in this current fourth wave correction. And that's still my base case, um, the primary scenario, basically. The chart would need to prove me wrong for me to really believe that we have already formed a low. How can it do that? Let's talk about the bullish breakout pattern first, even though it's not my primary scenario. It's also not unlikely, but it is for me the less probable scenario. So of course I don't rule it out, but don't, you know, think about it as we've got the first likely or the most likely scenario is a move down in wave C or four, whereas the second most likely scenario is already the breakout. One, two, three, four, five. You should always think about it that way. We've got two wave counts on the chart, on the chart in this case, on this time frame. Both of these need to be considered when you are trading. Both of these need to be considered in your trading plan. You cannot ignore one um, if they are both on the chart. Both of them are likely. Both of them are highly likely. It's just that the yellow one is more likely and therefore my primary scenario. The alternative, yeah, that's often a misconception, Elliott Wave, um, it is a highly likely scenario, okay? The unlikely scenarios, I don't even show them to you. The market can literally do anything, but our task, objective work, you know, as analysts is always to reduce down and to limit the probabilities to a degree or to the most probable options. You know, limit the scenarios to the most probable options, and I would only show you like these scenarios. Everything else would be a waste of time. I mean, I wouldn't, why would I show you 10 scenarios that, you know, that are, unlikely no i show you typically one uh, very likely one and the, then the second most likely one sometimes the third most likely one but then things get very difficult if we have two scenarios on the chart it's pretty straightforward with clear pivots between them clear levels to watch you know clear conditions um and yeah don't don't make the mistake to think that um the alternative scenario is unlikely too many people think that but it's not the case yeah uh, the unlikely ones, I, you know, I sometimes I, I think everybody knows that, but no, um, people don't. Um, the unlikely ones, I don't even show them to you. Yeah, they might be somewhere in the background. I consider them, you know, but I rule them out. They just, you know, I don't even show them. So we've got two two counts, one short-term bearish. That's for me the preferred one um, in which we are dealing here with this wave four. Yes, and we bottomed only in an A wave. This is a more complex WXY structure and in the Y wave, we're dealing with an A, B, C scenario. Could get maybe one more high in this scenario. Yeah, 44.7, 44.8K would be ideal before then breaking down. That's unchanged from the previous updates. Um, could of course break down directly. I mean, that's, you know, we'll see if the market wants to give us another high. It should really do, but it's really struggling there really getting rejected there, um, but holding as well. So it's just sideways consolidation. Market has no idea what it wants to do. That's why we've got this rectangle pattern. It's a balance of forces. Bitcoin would need to break below the $41,810 level, basically. Here, this swing low that was made on the 19th of December to really suggest that the C wave to the downside has started. And in the white scenario, you know, which is the short-term bullish one, which is also okay, you know, uh, but we cannot make it the primary count because I haven't got five waves to the upside. I only have three. Three up, three down, three up so far, you know, and so on. Um, for this scenario, Bitcoin would need to reach 45k in the third wave to make it, you know, to, to increase probabilities for this scenario, then obviously a four, five. Um, and then, you know, if we get five waves, then we can look at the three wave pullback afterwards, A, B, C, and, you know, add another support area here. Um, it's also not the primary scenario because the pullback hasn't even reached the yellow support zone. So it would have been an extremely shallow wave four. 
But yeah, that's my update at the moment about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.